So my name is Matthew Sleeth. This is the Generative Freeway project, and it's the idea of a bunch of 3D printers in the gallery building a freeway system. So it's the idea that a set of instructions in the printers builds the part that then builds the freeway system. And so as people come in, they can pick up the parts from the printers or a staging area and then help construct the freeway. So um, I'm very interested in what 3D printers can build, but I, I'm also mainly interested in them as, as kinetic sculptures. So I kind of situate this in the tradition of kinetic sculpture and performance that I'm in here all the time, you know, working with the machines and working with people that come to help build the freeway. And, uh, and that the machines are sort of the actors in this, that they're going all the time and the, the sound and light and movement comes from them. And it's really just the idea that a set of instructions are building the part and then the parts are then forming the system and the freeway as a metaphor for kind of the systems that we create as a, as a community. So I've heard quite a bit about 3D printers. Uh, what, what are they exactly? Um, well, these are really just plastic melters with a robot underneath them. They, they really are drawing the part by melting plastic onto a platform that moves around underneath, or in the case of two of them, the heads move and the platform stays still. So it's a, actually quite a simple technology that um, has become a kind of a very, a very active community. And through the community, it's actually kind of the knowledge is transferred and it's, it's become sort of you know, a, a real moment in the culture, I think, at the moment. But while I'm interested in that, I, and I'm partly interested in the nature of 3D printing, I'm really interested in them as partly as what they can make, partly in their relationship to photography and video, which is sort of my background, and the idea of the negative or a set of instructions forming a human readable multiple is sort of something I think about quite a lot. So in some ways, for me, these are, this is a kind of cinema or a kind of photography. But I'm mainly interested in them in the as performance and the idea of a linear narrative through the piece, that it is a, a beginning, middle and end to the freeway. Okay, that's cool. Can you move a little bit closer to me yep. and um, talk a little bit more in, in detail about these, these things. Can you explain some of these objects? What, what was yep. So this is the first one. This is um, a prototype 3D printer that I made myself with some friends in New York. and. It was part of a hacking group called NYC Resistor and they went on to become MakerBot. So three, the three founders of MakerBot came out of that community. And so that's a, um, a, an early version of something that became the Cupcake, which was their first printer. So there's kind of a lot of custom electronics and um, basically hacky uh, add-ons to that to make it work. This one isn't actually going at the moment, but is, no. it, is it, it? It can be. It can be. Yeah. But so what, what is what that is one? There's a computer net attached to it to go. It doesn't doesn't print autonomously. Okay. okay. So the te yeah. So that that's got quite a small build platform. So that actually builds the pylons for the freeway. Ah, okay. Um, what about what about this one? Because you were saying. Um, and, what, what, what is and this, this was part of an early project that actually led to the previous printer. It's called a RepRap and it was a university project. I think it was University of Cambridge that wanted to make a machine that could make itself. And, excuse me. Yeah, no and the... Hey, can, can you stay, stay there a minute and I'll, I'll redirect the, the lens and yeah, I'll yeah. come back. 